What's up guys? Welcome back to my Lurus TV. Hope you are all doing good. Uh, today, uh, let's go through uh, how we can prepare a good CV for your future career here. And for an example, we can take my CV, uh, which has been uh, created uh, according to the guidance from, um, from the university, which was part of our studies as well. For making CV, I got some tips um, from our uh, professors in the university uh, so again we can compare uh, my old CV and the new CV which I've been created uh, so we will know more uh, what are the differences uh, we can uh, actually see from this both series and uh, you decide what kind of CV you want to show your future um, employer all right and uh, the CV which I'm gonna show you, I mean the resume which I'm gonna show you is from my profession so it can be different from uh, what I'm gonna talk, talk about uh, from uh, about your career as well uh, because uh, but just I'm, I, will, I want to show you some kind of a basic understanding about how your CV want to be when you want to present to your employer uh, I know that exactly our uh, the, the content you are adding in your CV will be completely different from mine. So uh, you won't take uh, anything from this uh, video. Hopefully this video will be useful for your uh, career making. And uh, at the end I will sh share you some of the tips. Some kind of... Uh, I never hear this kind of an interview happen when I... When I I've I been explained in the classroom and I'm, I never believed it actually but it happened to one of my friends so I will share that experience as well so you can expect this kind of an interview when you come here so for without further ado uh, let's jump into the video alright okay uh, the, so the first one uh, we've been taught like uh, the a appearance for most of you uh, and I created the CV like a old school wise like a white background you just type the letters that's how it's supposed to be so if you look at it in my old CV, I created something similar like that. So you can see here, uh, it's a photograph and some kind of a document I type it. So this is right now, it's mostly mostly kind of a dull. And some of the content I've been uh, uh, removed because of the privacy uh, of others. Uh, so there are lots of things I've been written uh, in these columns here. So I removed it. Uh, and here you can see sort of all the designing softwares I know and what are the other skills I I I been uh, involved in or I, I, I my hobbies and everything like that. So now we can look at in my uh, new CV, uh, so which uh, I created in the PDF format. Uh, the other one is like a word format. So try to create everything in a PDF format. Uh, so this is how it looks like right now. <coughs> So the, it's exactly the same uh, details, but uh, now it looks a little bit more uh, real, uh, kind of uh, creative wise. Um, so try to create some kind of uh, uh, idea uh, instead of making a blank page and just type it and send it to through. And again, uh, the, uh, the here you can see it's that I only created only the uh, the main points in this one. So here you can see the work experience and everything. I only create uh, as a 3D coordinator, but there are other things I already involved in. But I don't want to write down there because that's the main position. So this kind of uh, uh, chopping down you need to do while writing writing the contents in your uh, portfolio. I mean, in your uh, resume or CV. You don't need to write all uh, the end their page because uh, when I talk to some of some of my friends are in HR department. And I talked to them, and they they told me like they never go through uh, all what you written there in in the resume. So they only look for the main points, what uh, the person is being qualified for this position or something like that. So they don't have to type. So when you can uh, explain all this one, because once you they you are got in uh, appointment or some you are got approved to come for their interview, then those time you can explain or exaggerating more of these things uh, uh, while uh, you talk. So that's how uh, yeah they like it instead of uh, uh, writing down everything in a CV uh, with three or four pages or something like that. So try to make it as a one page and uh, make it as um, uh, what is a, a, a creative a look wise. Uh, 
try to make it as uh, good as uh, as possible uh, again you don't need to spend more time for creating all the graphics and everything so this is a simple simple idea I come up with because I saw some of the series from internet and I just created my own idea here so uh, we will go through this um, uh, the PDF document here uh, <coughs> so here you can put your photographs and what what your name and what is the um, uh, position you are looking for in your profession um, so in this wise yeah what kind of a po uh, character you have um, uh, yeah for, for uh, what kind of character you have uh, so these are the characters I created here and the left left hand side uh, I created uh, the information about myself like uh, my name my address and phone number and the email address so the email ad address always place some your professional email ad address if you don't have one uh, try to make it that's why I ha I make it as a uh, I, I hide it actually so that is only for the professional use uh, because uh, sometimes when you give your personal emails uh, you might miss some kind of uh, document uh, email when the employer sent it to you so you might miss it so um, yeah try to make a professional email address actually uh, yeah it's a gmail is absolutely fine but if you if you don't have one just try, uh, create a new one only for this job purpose and all and here you can see uh, the my uh, social networks so I have that in the YouTube and Vimeo and in the Facebook and uh, here you can see you can put some three references so again I hide the personal uh, details uh, because it's a privacy reason so uh, I create the references here for the employees because sometimes the employers can uh, uh, need to talk to your previous employers uh, or HR manager need to talk to your previous employees so it's better uh, you need to write down some uh, working email email address for your uh, previous employer and always uh, remember to inform them because when they send you send them an email uh, or something regarding your reference they have to reply it back if not then it is kind of a bad impression so it's better to talk to your previous employer when if, uh, yeah if the HR manager or some someone need to send it uh, send an email to them okay and here you can put the work experience so actually I start I started my profession from 2002 but yeah uh, if you think about a, a certificate is the way to start for your profession so I started from 2004 and till now so you can see it's kind of an 18 years plus uh, so yeah I need to write a lot of things while I did that one in this 18 years so I don't need to so only you put where you work what prof uh, what profession it is uh, you mean what title you carried uh, so that's what you can see here and uh, the next one is education again if you have a education uh, you know you just write down the education uh, where you what you studied and where you studied so this is kind of a simplest form I made it and this is the skill level uh, and expertise uh, I have to show to the uh, my hiring employer so what are the softwares I use again uh, here in the softwares I don't need to mention all these things so I just showed as in the graphics wise like how much uh, I know about this uh, uh, softwares or how much e even these are the different uh, uh, sections uh, softwares. some of them are for modeling designing some of them are for painting and also if you are in a 3d or designing you know the, what I'm talking about here and uh, the skills in this with this software what kind of skill are uh, I'm having here so you can see the model interaction lighting and rendering are the high skill and dynamics animation and sculpting are the middle and uh, grooming match moving and other which kind of so it's a technical words actually in our profession and other hobbies so uh, what are your main hobbies uh, apart from your uh, this uh, profession that that is really important because they want to see the what kind of a person you are so uh, try to uh, try to so now see that in that 18 years i cut short down uh, cut down into one single page I assume you got an idea what kind of a cv you need to create actually another one um here is your personal letter so you need to write down a personal letter about yourself uh, so what motivated you to be uh, come to this field and why don't you choose other fields 
So you can just write down some of your, uh, yeah, just talk from your heart. So that's a basic lie I have to tell. Don't try to make fake them because they can easily understand when you talk and you really like it or not. They can easily catch it from your face. So um, yeah, you you tell them what is your uh, ambition, what you studied, and uh, where you see yourself in the future, and uh, yeah, what are your passion in this field and where, where you see yourself uh, in a long term. So it's kind of a, again, uh, put it in a one page, it's more than enough. Try to make it a little bit more creative. Here you don't need to put, uh, because I didn't, I didn't have much time to create any graphical page for it. So then I tried to make it everything is as simple as like this. So this is enough, I showed them, they like it. Uh, so uh, that's the one there. Um, so. So these are the things I have to tell you mostly. So in a nutshell, um, uh, yeah. So the in a nutshell, I want to talk about try to make it a little bit more creative. Okay, the not the plain CV, uh, and cut down everything in a one page. So try to fix fit everything in a one page, and if it is a more yeah maximum two pages, but. Again, uh, don't try to make it as a small letter to fit everything inside. So it need to be readable. Okay, try to put it in a one page. If it is exceeding one page, yeah, it's okay to put it in a uh, second page. What I'm talking about here, don't write down all the things you've done in that uh, these years there. So that is not really necessary. That you will have a time to explain everything for your personal meeting time. Okay, so um, yeah, that's the third uh, second point. Um, and the third point is like uh, uh, put it in a, a PDF format uh, because some companies don't like to open their documents or something like that. Uh, maybe it, it, maybe it won't work. Maybe there are software issues. So you never know. So you can put it as a, like a, a PDF format or a JPEG format. So in case if the PDF doesn't work, uh, put it in a, a JPEG format. Okay, and um, and you need a a resume, yeah, a personal letter, and a breakdown. If there is a reel or something, you need to show the breakdown reel. So, yeah, so that's all the things you need. So the next one I want to uh, talk about is the interview skills, actually, which uh, uh, which also be mentioned in our studies. Uh, so, one of the things they said the interview might be a lunch interview, something like that, uh, or like a breakfast interview. Uh, so I didn't understand what they mentioned uh, until uh, yeah they mentioned clearly because most of the interview we, we saw in our life is like they call for a room and there will be like three to four people will be sitting there and they might be interviewing you right so here uh, that uh, one of my trainers said uh, they you might they might be called you for interview in a hotel or somewhere or restaurant or somewhere uh, and uh, from there they will uh, look at your performance as a group wise well I didn't understand so, so they mentioned they will l see your characters and everything so uh, when I when I hear that I didn't really uh, take it because I thought no it don't happen like that way but one of my friends from UK she's a, she was an HR manager in, a, in IKEA so she had that same kind of an interview there she, so she mentioned like they call for an interview then they uh, sit in a group and have it and uh, yeah these are the things she told me about the about the interview so in the interview time so she mentioned these are the points you have to look if you are in that position first uh, yeah uh, this point is uh, the first point is being mentioned from our university uh, in our studies uh, they said like don't kill the chicken it's already dead <laughs> so which means uh, the when you order food with this kind of uh, because the managers will be there HR man uh, and uh, the project pro production leader project leader so I don't know so who will be there in interview because if you try to eat like a barbarian uh, with them they will they will really understand what kind of a character person you are or what kind of a character you are having so try to eat a, a kind of a, a minimum food I, I'm not saying like only eat a vegetarian, you can eat uh, uh, chicken or I mean, um, any meat or anything like that, it, it's up to you. But I'm telling you like, 
try to just use the fork and cut and you know just then chew and all those kind of thing uh, show you some kind of a, they, they, I don't know maybe like a barbaric kind of a thing but if you are really uh, uh, like the food after interview then go and eat from there again okay so from there try to take a minimal uh, meat or veg or anything up to you and because those kind of food uh, you can because why this is not only for eating purpose or just having a lunch or a breakfast together it, it's the way they talk that's what my friend told me they talk a lot actually so meantime you cut you concentrate everything with all this purpose you might not be able to answer all the questions or even um, yeah uh, you have to speak when you speak it uh, yeah try to solo the food first then uh, and speak or if you are in the middle of that at least cover the mouth with kind of a tissue paper or anything like that when you speak so uh, this is also kind of they are now talking about the table manners and everything and don't try to take long time to finish they don't uh, you don't let them to wait until you finish uh, that's kind of uh, weird also uh, so try to uh, finish off uh, as the same time as your manager or other people do it so that doesn't mean you have to look what ac exact time they are finishing now I'm talking about uh, don't try to sit them and wait for you there a uh, long time so uh, that's the another point that I want to talk about um, the second one uh, sound uh, yeah again uh, uh, yeah this is what again I'm talking about try to get some kind of a simple food uh, don't take long time to chew because the chewing more time will make a lot of sound so uh, don't don't try to do all this thing uh, try to uh, try to just uh, yeah uh, take a simple food and chew it and solo and talk more more about and another one uh, it's look for a team responsible or like a group uh, group wise how you're working and uh, what your character are it is um, if you are going to get some kind of a drink or anything you can ask them like can I get you some drink from there or can I get this food for you because most cases they said no uh, they, uh, here every everything is like self-service thing so they never ask you to go and take something there but it's a good way to uh, yeah show your character okay if your manager or project leader or whoever in the team is not asking any question while they are eating you can just take a pause and yeah ask not only concentrate don't make any silence you, you can ask more questions about yeah anything yeah here you can freely ask anything with, with them so don't sit down and just focus on the food uh, again as I said uh, it's not for enjoying the food that time uh, it's uh, it's again uh, in a group wise uh, how you do uh, with the uh, if you've been provided by a group a group or something like a project leader or something how you gonna handle it and uh, what character you will be in a, this kind of a group okay so ho uh, so hopefully you got some you got some idea what how you want to create your CV and what kind of uh, uh, yeah uh, interview uh, you might need to uh, face uh, again this is not like 100 percent this supposed to be like this it can be plus or minus so that's why I said if you if you want to take some something good from this one take it if not then just uh, if you think that is not really workable and nice just ignore it okay so give or take uh, it's up to you uh, so hopefully I covered everything what I thought uh, if not then I will write down in the description or you can just contact us uh, if you have any question regarding the CV making or any uh, interview you might have to uh, yeah, face here so how you have to approach it because uh, I already approached or almost uh, maybe you can say 100 employers here because uh, I, we had a lot of uh, employers used to come to our university for the interview and the presentation so I talked to them and I mostly the HR managers and the production managers so yeah uh, the information I already passed through is from all the big main uh, production centers uh, all over in the Europe if you are worried about anything you can talk to me uh, again uh, as I said like I've been going through a lot of uh, companies here so I know um, how what kind of quality they are looking for uh, yeah so uh, well I think I um,
covered up everything uh, yeah but oh okay sorry uh, then um, yeah try to uh, for a lunch interview or a day, uh, breakfast inter interview or something try to be pleasant as uh, possible uh, don't be panic uh, and as I said like uh, eat less at that time uh, if I know that if the food is really good after the interview you can go and just yeah uh, <laughs> just have it all over there until your stomach blast <laughs> just kidding so uh, hopefully you got some idea uh, if you have any question regarding the CV making or resume making or this in the interview uh, thing uh, please contact us so I would really love to talk to you and uh, would like to share uh, because I think I missed some point but I don't remember right now so it's okay I think I covered up everything uh, what I know right now uh, so uh, until we see next time goodbye from Rinkunyu, Lexi and Toby. Bye!